study to prove what he's saying works. Four, would you like to know what he said? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. All right. I'll tell you. Because it's actually pretty simple. A lot simpler than you would. It's not complicated. First of all, the, the, the interventions that I first learned in my journey that, that many physicians use, you really should stay away from, like EDTA, DMPS, DMSA, you know, these highly potent, typically intravenous or even oral chelation agents. Stay away from them. All you need is some simple, actually three keys. One is niacin. Okay, this is the niacin plus. Actually, this is kind of like a version of, this, of the Scientology detoxification program. It's a little, little, but it works. Niacin actually stimulates lipolysis because in your fat, actually, there's something that precedes this. It's a little more important. Uh, the average person is, you know, two-thirds of the country are overweight. Clearly, that's not this audience or most probably the people viewing this. But when you're overweight, you have more fat. And that's where the toxins are stored. There are 100 times more toxins in your fat than in your blood. 100 times. So the first step in detoxification is to get into an exercise program in the right type of diet and start losing your body fat. Get down to, if you're a guy, 10%, you're going to be really fit. If maybe a woman, 15%. But just by doing that, because many people are 25, 30, 40% body fat. So rather than do the intervention I'm going to discuss, the first step is to get in shape and lose body fat. And, you know, his analysis, he finds that, remember DDT? Do we use it now? It stopped a long time ago, right? Well, one of the byproducts of DDT is DDE. And it's pervasive. Everyone here has DDE in their fat. Even though it hasn't been used. Just recycles in the environment. So the first step is to do this uh, niacin. Not sustained release, regular niacin. Start at about 100 milligrams. And you work your way up to 5,000 milligrams. It's a lot of niacin. And you will flush. And 20% of the people will not be able to tolerate it. And he's we're actually one of the reasons why David and I met with him is to try to brainstorm an alternative to niacin. But right now, it seems to be the best. Excuse me. And the niacin, what it will do is it will stimulate release of the toxins from the fat. It's, it actually causes lipolysis. And so you do the, the niacin dose, and then you, for about 30 minutes, you're going to exercise. And then you go right into the sauna for about 40 minutes. And you do this every day for about a month. And that should get rid of most of the toxins in your system. Now, you could add adjuncts like chlorella, some of the clays, zeolite. That would be helpful. But the key is the, ex you know, the, the, the niacin, the exercise, and the sauna, infrared sauna. Now, the problem is if you have a lot of junk in your system, most of us do. Now, this will get rid of all, not only the, the chemicals in your system, but it will also get rid of heavy metals like mercury, aluminum, fluoride, Things that we just don't know how to get rid of. You can go up as fast as you can. You, everyone will get a bad flush. You will look like a red beet. You know, and it'll be somewhat uncomfortable. It's, it's temporary and it's not permanent. You know, it'll get better, but and it will get rid of everything. It's amazing, but not sustained release. That will wreck your liver and it will not work. It has to be regular niacin. Lose your weight first would be a day, unless you're sick, acutely sick, in which case you might have to just do it anyway. Like, he sees people who are really profoundly, deathly ill. So, but ideally, you know, most of us aren't in that place, but some of us are. Now, I'm going to hold off on the questions. Um, but one of the highlights, one of the true highlights of the event was John Robert. I was raised Catholic and then kind of fell away a little bit. I, then I converted to evangelical Christianity in 1980 and then kind of fell away from that in the mid-90s. So I, I've read the Bible a few times. 
spread to many services. But that was one of the best sermons I've ever heard. I mean, I, <clears throat> Gandhi is one of my favorite heroes. I mean, this guy's like a Gandhi, you know? It's just amazing. So I'm really excited. I'm actually, fortunately, going to be able to interview him. I'm going to have an interview on the site with him. But he was just amazing, just amazing. But one of my passions, not one of my passions, my main passion, my main mission in life, everything I own, for the most part, outside of taking care of my family, will be, is donated right now. My estate plan is set. It's all donated to a foundation. And the foundation's mission is to change the whole healthcare system. I mean, it's not going to, I don't have children. I never had kids. You know, it's not going to my kids. I'm not going to mistake, make the mistake that Jay Rodale did with Prevention Magazine and give it to his kids. So let me tell you about some of our initiatives because really one of the central cores of what John shared yesterday is to be authentic to what your passion is. And it was such a great, I mean, such a testimony of that man, the way he's lived his life. Uh, you know, if, if we could just get to that level. I mean, he's such a powerful demonstration of that. So my passion is to change the whole fatally flawed system because peop, hundreds of thousands of people, hundreds of thousands are dying prematurely. We're all going to die, but they are dying prematurely every year as a result of greed from mostly the drug companies. And that is intolerable. Intolerable. So as we mentioned last night, I'm just going to review here some of the initiatives that we have and is involved, and I think we're going to be successful soon, certainly with the first, well, the first and the third fluoride and GMO foods, is to eliminate them from this country. Yes. That will happen. No question on mine. You mark my words, that will be done. That is a non-issue. They will be gone. No question. That's a, vaccines will be a lot harder because it's a much bigger challenge, but we're making steps. Now, who here is not on my newsletter? Okay, let me share, you some, share some information for you. I spend $10,000 a year to go to a coaching system that we meet once a quarter. And so it costs, I think, $25,000 to $1,000 to attend each one of these classes. And I get great benefit out of it. And there's a lot of information. But I'll tell you the key, and this is not only for a class like that, for anything, especially like this, is you're, a lot of people are writing notes. But... The notes are irrelevant. I've written lots of notes in my life, but if you just, if they stay there, nothing happens, it's going to be dead. You know, it's not going to be good for you. Very few people go back and look at them. So it's great to take notes, but you need another sheet. Another sheet, which is your to-do list. This is the key. It's one sheet, and when you get home, you do it. It's got to be short. So there's one thing I would request from you to do. If you are not subscribed to the newsletter, subscribe to the newsletter. It's the only thing I'm asking you to do. That's it. Because if you don't, you will not be able to be part of the army to facilitate this change. It's the only way I can connect you to tell you what the plan is. All right? So promise me to do that. If you'd encourage your friends and relatives, that's great too. But that's the key. Because the way that we beat them is through the numbers. We've got the numbers. We've got the numbers. We can defeat them. We will. There's no question, but we need cooperation. All right, David said these statistics. Actually, we're up to 30 million visits now. Uh, last month, we were the 2,500, 25, listed the top 2,500 sites in the entire world. This month, we're, we're moved up to the 1,500. So our goal is to be in the top 500 or 400 because when we reach there, we're, I'm convinced because of the tipping point and some other social demographics, we should have enough conscious awareness about truth to change the system. 